from shampoo to sunscreen, we all use these products to look and feel better. But could some ingredients actually be making problems worse? Lauren Vargas joins us now with a new health movement fighting to bring awareness to all those toxic chemicals that happen to be found in some of those products, Lauren. Yeah, Katie, and turns out some of these makeup products I use on a daily basis for work were some of the worst offenders. Now, most of us rarely think about the dangers of what we're putting on our skin every single day. It can seem overwhelming, but there are a few key words that can help. Making sure there's no parabens, no sulfates in there, um, mineral oils, that's a good place to at least start. Beauty products may promise a quick fix to your flaws, but make sure those long-term effects are worth the risk. This is everything that you use on your body. This is your deodorant, your toothpaste, your hair products. Makeup artist Melissa Lemberg says materials linked to cancer, reproductive harm, and hair loss are common side effects of commonly used chemicals. Formaldehyde, you know, it's a poison. It's what we use to embalm bodies, but it's also what they use to keep products on um, their shelf life. We hit the streets of Tempe to find out how often local ladies think about these possible health risks. How often do you wear makeup on your face? Every day. <laughs> Every single day. Do you pay attention to what ingredients you're putting on your skin? No, <laughs> not at all. The word cancer is just super scary, so yeah, I would definitely want to know what ingredients those are. Lenberg says she's been researching health and beauty products for nearly a decade. She suggests using products that are all natural, like jojoba and coconut oils. You know, we love to feel pretty, but we also want to be healthy and safe too. Now, overall, the big message to drive home, if you can't pronounce it, it's probably not good for you. There are over a thousand of these chemical products banned in some European countries, whereas here, the FDA only bans 10. So it's really up to you to read those labels and do your research before you buy. Yeah, speaking of research, and thank you, Lauren, speaking of that, there's an app that lets you scan cosmetics to see if they're potentially toxic. It's called Think Dirty. All you have to do is scan the barcode of any personal product you use, and then it immediately tells you if it's considered clean or dirty. If it tells you it's dirty, it's actually also going to offer other alternatives. The app is free, and we're taking action tonight. There's even more information out there on what's considered safe and what is not. There's a website breaking it all down for you. The nonprofit Environmental Working Group ranks cosmetics containing chemicals with known or suspected health risks. You can search more than 68,000 products to make sure they're safe. To see where the products use rank, log on to abc15.com. Just be sure to click on 15 links. Uh